Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and I love teaching about magic. If you have a question about spells, the law of attraction, spirituality, witchcraft, Slavic folk magic, spirits, divination, you can join me on Sundays at the Live Magic Q&A where we record an episode of my podcast, Magic and the Law of Attraction, and then I answer your questions on anything mystical or magical live over Zoom. Just go to spellsquad.com to get the link to join me in the clubhouse. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you get a gentle, magical reminder and you'll be the first witch to see whenever anything new goes up. Here's a great tidbit from one of our past Q&As answering a really important spiritual question. Uh, Kathy has a great question. What's a good way to start the art of mind influencing? Well, if you're influencing a particular person's mind, a skull candle is totally the way to go. We've got little skull candles. We've got big skull candles. A skull candle can be used for a couple of things. Number one, it can be used for ancestor work. That's one way we use skull candles is to revere and honor our ancestors or connect with our ancestor spirits. That's one way we can work. But another entirely different way that we can work with a skull candle is to influence somebody's mind, right? It's to get into someone's head. So if there's a particular person that you're working on and you want to influence them mentally, then you can use upper hand oil, which is an influencing oil on a skull candle, right? If you want hardcore influence on it, you could put domination oil or um, you could use a command and control oil, which is kind of in between. So it'd be domination would be the strongest to really dominate someone command and control to have them under your control and then upper hand to just give you that little bit of influence over them, rub that on the candle, um, inscribe their name on the candle and then burn that candle so that there is an influence there. Now, if you're working on the art of mindful influencing in general, then you could um, put that on yourself. I mean, you could put that candle representing your own mind. And then I would say using something like um, absolute power oil on it so that you had the power to be able to influence other people. You could also do something super amazing, an amazing candle spell where you have your candle representing you, your skull candle, the skull candle representing the other person, absolute power on your candle, and then command and control or upper hand or domination oil on their candle. And that's the way you can get that mind influence going. 